What's up YouTube? Balan here today and I got a whole new tutorial, a whole new video on how to remove Windows 7 Antivirus 2012. So as you see on my computer here, I got a few files. This one right here, UVK is a tool. This is a tool to remove rootkits right there. And then we have three files to edit your registry. So all these files here today together will help you fix your computer pretty simply. Um and it's in case you get a virus just like this one here so I'm gonna bring up a picture of the Windows 7 antivirus 2012 well this one says anti-spyware but it, it's all the same program so it's gonna basically tell you you have viruses which of course you don't and then if you try to remove them it's gonna ask you to register your product which of course you do not want to do because they're just scamming you they're not gonna do anything for you they're just taking your money and possibly even your credit card number. So here we go. These are all the names the Windows 7 uh, rogues go under for this type of virus. Uh, I will not be showing how to remove the Windows XP or Windows Vista virus. I'm pretty sure it's basically the same concept. But I've dealt with the Windows 7 one before. And that's the one I can show to everyone today. So let's go back up here. This is what it looks like again just I'll keep that on the side of my screen so basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download everything in the description now download it on a USB and bring it over to your computer that's why I have portable programs here this way no install is required it's just plug in read the files they work alright so what you're gonna wanna do first thing when you turn on your computer and you put these files on you're gonna wanna get rid of the virus by opening up this right here this will restore all your permissions back because if you try to open up task manager or something it's gonna either say open with or file not found or program not found now that might scare you saying oh god one of the most critical system files are gone that's fine this will restore access to them this file right here this will fix your registry so that's what that's file for I'm gonna put that up there alright so next you're going to open up UVK Portable. So this is what it looks like. It's going to prompt you with user account control. At this point, you should be able to open it. And then you're going to go up here to the process manager. Manager, sorry. So you're going to find out whichever one is the virus. It's going to be pretty obvious. It's going to be most likely from Microsoft Corporation because they're going to fake it. And it's going to look like maybe UAC.exe or L lsl star a bunch of random characters dot exe shit like that those are clearly the virus here what you're going to want to do you're going to want to right click the program you're going to want to go to kill process and delete file now this will take it off your system alright so now we're going to go back to the welcome screen and a quick thing I'd like to show everyone where the virus usually hides usually the virus will hide somewhere in your app data now to access your app data you're going to go to organize folders and options you're gonna go to view and then you're gonna come down to hidden files and folders and show them and take off the little tick that says hide extensions for known file types you're gonna wanna see those so there we go we have that like that now what you're gonna wanna do from here is you're gonna go to the automatic anti-malware scans so these are here now this is a very good tool you're going to want to take off the Kaspersky TDSS killer. You want to take off the run UVK systems. Take off Hitman Pro. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Leave Hitman Pro. Take off anti-spyware. So, never run combo fix unless you have someone that knows how to use it monitoring you. Which I will send everyone a nice link where they can get some help with removing issues from their computer so basically right here we got the malware anti-bytes I'm sorry malware anti-malware um, we're gonna start the scan after we update and we have a normal scan the Hitman Pro disable upload files and a complete scan so these two if you don't have them they will download to your computer and they'll scan like that I'm not gonna do them because I do not want to have to wait for them to download so now down here, neat thing, download Vast. I really suggest this as your antivirus with malwarebytes running in the background. 
One last thing I'd like to show everyone with this, and this is a little off topic. You can run UVK scripts, go to full maintenance, erase these because these aren't really needed down there. And these three right here will update your Flash, update your Java, and update your DirectX. That'll keep your system a little bit more secured when running on websites. So, we're going to exit this now. Now, a quick thing. If you cannot open this file on your computer, you're going to want to right-click, rename, and go uvkportable.com. Now, that's really important right there because that's going to switch it so now you can o still open the file. It runs the same way but it's going to have a different extension which will fool the program alright so after you do that now I suggest you use the TDSS killer you're gonna wanna open it up now this will kill any rootkits in your system which is really good alright it's initializing getting ready I'm gonna put the UVK up there Alright, so this is what it looks like here. There we go. Right there. Alright, so now change parameters. You're going to make sure these two are here. Alright. And then you're going to hit start scan. It's going to produce a log after. Also, if it finds anything, it'll give you a nice box saying, you know, this is what was found. Do you want to cure it, which is delete it, or skip the file? And, of course, you're supposed to cure the file. So, I'm going to put that up there. So now, you're going to notice after that restart from the TDSS, after all that malware is off your computer, you're still going to have issues with your Windows firewall. And it's going to look just like this one here. I'm sorry, no, it's not going to look like that one. That's with the virus. Uh, right here, my bad. So it's going to look like this here. It's going to say, use recommended settings. Now, if you try to click that, you're going to get this pop-up box right here. Now, you can search this error code. They're going to say download, fix it. it it's not going to work. What you need to do is you need to import the bfe.reg and the firewall.reg into your registry. Restart your computer. When it turns back on, type run. Open run. Type reg. Edit. Yes. Now, once you're in here, and for some reason run decided to freeze over here. Oh, that looked cool. Alright, so this is the path you're going to want to have to follow so you could get your firewall up and running once again. HK local machine to system to current control set to services and then we're going to look for BFE. Now from BFE we right click, we go to permissions and then you're going to have to add something called everyone. And then you're going to add full control read and do that to every single one here. That will make your firewall ready to activate. Now we're going to come back down here and type in services.msc. My bad. Alright, after that opens, we're going to look through here for base filtering engine and start that service and Windows firewall and start that service. Now that will make your firewall once again active on your computer. So that's basically how you fix this virus. It'll give you all your permissions back, everything like that. Now, it has been known to redirect you if you're using stuff like Internet Explorer. So I'm going to show you really quick to prevent that being redirected. You hit your Alt key. You go to Tools, Internet Options, Connections, Land Settings. And down here, Proxy, it'll have an address here. Uncheck that if it's there and automatically detect settings. That'll prevent it from redirecting you anywhere. So yeah, that's basically how you remove this virus from your system. If you like this tutorial, it helped you a lot, please pass it on to other people so they can have some help and get rid of the virus as well. Also, please like this video, comment, and subscribe to me for future videos. Also, if you'd like to come hang out with my friends in my Mumble server, let me know and one last thing if anyone would like the cool background here I have with the time my system specs the download rate or my nexus bar down here definitely leave a comment on the video and I'll make a tutorial on how to get that also I could throw in these cool icons I have here 